Here we are at Step Conference in Dubai. This amazing space, amazing weather, and amazing guests in the in the Change Officer podcast. This is the pop-up studio of Podster. We are going around the world on the conferences and uh, talk with people, talk with amazing people, talk with some uh, uh, entrepreneurs, talk with some investors, talk about advisors, consultants, and so on. And today and now we are focused on one startup that will change the world. Hopefully, uh, I'm talking uh, with uh, Luca Erich. Uh, Luca, welcome to our podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh, Luca, uh, I had the privilege and opportunity to meet you uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you are representing uh, the change into uh, cold calling uh, industry. Exactly. Cold calling, industry. cold calling industry in Dubai is still big. As customers, we all hate the cold calls. Just come calls. closer to the mic. Okay. As customers, we all hate the cold calls, but uh, it's an integral part of sales. So uh, we need it and uh, we're here to change the industry. Okay, just uh, as a background, you, uh, you were born here in the UAE? I was born in Serbia. Okay. Moved uh, pretty early on. Yeah. I was two years old to, yeah. uh, to UAE. Almost born. So Almost, UAE. yeah. Uh, and then spent my you know entire childhood, teenage years here, and then yeah. went to the US, studied and as worked a, As there. a football player? Yeah, Soccer? I, did, uh, I played football uh, yeah. in, in college and then worked in the US as well. And worked, and this is important for your startup. You worked in the company for sales, yeah. Yes, I worked in the sales in the, in the sales department. Okay. And sold investment software to uh, VCs and PEs all across the world. Okay, and it was uh, your job was cold calling. Yeah, specifically cold calling. I would do about fifty to sixty cold calls a day, and I, I hated it. It was horrible. <laughs> Why? What, what's the problem with cold calling today? Well, you know, specifically with investors, we would call on people that would be very busy. Uh, they wouldn't have much time for us during the day. A lot of people would be calling them, um, and they hate it. So they would close, our, you know, close the phone on our on our face. Uh, sometimes, you know, swear at us. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So we had to be very good at what we're doing. Um, but it takes a while to get good at cold calling, especially you know, coming you know straight out of college, graduating. Uh, not having all that social skills, and so it took it took a while to get good at it. But once you get good at it, then then you're good. Then the money keeps rolling in. Yeah, and hopefully. but but uh, during the work in the sales industry, you noticed some uh, objective problems that are happening uh, within this. Uh, what what was the 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 challenge in the sales industry? Yeah, I think what it, is the challenge in the I sales? I think it's coming from from a lot of angles. I think the sales industry as a whole is changing. Um, a lot of companies, they have their sales team still working remotely. So that sales floor, the one that we see you know, in movies, doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't really have a senior salesperson next to you cold calling so you can learn off of. But then also the younger generations have grown up over the phones, over social media. And so they don't have that social skills, that communication skills that, that is needed. Um, and so what, what we do is, is we cater to those younger generations. And... Um, Instead of you know forcing them to learn one certain way, we give them an environment to practice cold calling, and so that's sort of how the idea of Retora came. Okay, up. that's the problem that you that you stated. And what is the solution? So the solution is hopefully what Retora is doing is we're creating a, a sandbox version of a sales environment uh, where reps are able to put in their own scripts and you know customize their scripts personally uh, to their companies to the people you know that they're selling to and then practice that indefinitely so you you'd be able to have you know 50 to 60 conversations in an hour with our platform 50 to 60 conversations would usually take you two to three months on a regular uh, mm -hmm. you know on a regular scale nowadays okay and uh, uh, how efficient is it uh, you, uh, you you mentioned that you're saving time mm -hmm. but also uh, 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 there is uh, a, an AI component to it yeah so what our tool does it essentially allows the rep to be more strategic about his cold calling and uh, personalize the the call more towards the person that they're calling rather than just having a generic script that they're that they're calling on usually um, so we we give back the time for managers they don't have to do training but then also give the rep what they really need to actually get better at cold calling so it's a kind of a skilling platform for the sales reps exactly so for right now our first launch is coming out in, uh, in two or three weeks fingers crossed yep hopefully uh we have clients that we've signed on that that are hopefully going to be piloting and going to be loving the platform uh what they'll be going through will be uh the actual training part so they'll be able to practice create their own scripts we have ai that if you don't know what to say 
we understand everything about your business. Mm -hmm. We then personalize the platform, personalize recommendations of what you can say to address certain questions and objections that you go after. Um, but then also later down the road, the platform will be automating everything that's tedious. So reps usually spending, you know, 60 to 70 percent of their day logging meetings, sending follow up emails, going over mm -hmm, their database mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And so what we're doing is we use AI to automate all of that. We know what happens during your call, so we just book the meeting for you. We follow up when they should follow up, and that sort of thing. So helping the CRMs and uh, uh, filling filling up, the, as you said, the, the tedious work. Exactly. Uh, so basically, it is onboarding, it is training, and it is uh, 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 like live assistance mm -hmm. uh, to the sales reps. Exactly. We're not just a, you know a three month thing where you practice and then you're good at sales and you leave. Mm. Uh, we provide that. We get you up to a standard that you know as a company they're happy with. We then constantly provide. Uh, live call navigation and help and assistance as well as we then do the automation and we give back more time to your day so you're able to actually do more selling than rather you know bookkeeping and stuff like that no 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 that's that's really focusing on the work that that is need that, that needed to be done and can you tell us the customer journey so basically your clients are companies mm -hmm. that will teach your ai or that will us uh, that uh, uh, ai will assist them on onboarding training and, and live assistance to the, the, the to the customer. So what is the customer journey there? Exactly. So if whenever we sign on a new customer like we have now, mm -hmm. is we go a couple of, through a couple of onboarding questions. It's usually seven to eight questions. We get to know more about you know what product you're selling, what industry you're in, who your you know ideal customers are, why they buy and that sort of thing. So seven to eight questions and then we extract another fifty parameters uh, business parameters from those questions. We use, you know, third-party competitor intelligence as well to mm -hmm. add more information to that data set. And each company then has an, their own model that they use, oh. um, and it's tailored to the rep itself, but then also to the company itself. So we're industry agnostic. We can sell, uh, you know, mobile phones. We can sell healthcare stuff. You know, it's we're, we can do whatever you want because the, the AI generates that old podcast whole studio time. Let's say you also you can also sell, sell that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what stage Rithora uh, is uh, at now? Yeah, we are in the middle of funding our pre-seed round. Okay. Uh, so we've, you know, we have about one hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of uh, committed uh, committed in capital, and we're looking to raise another two hundred fifty to close out the round four hundred thousand. Okay, uh, that, that's the uh, pre-seed round. That's yeah. That's pre-seed. Yes. And then, uh, what what is in there for you after the pre-seed? You will have some MVP working or a beta yeah, we'll have an version? MVP. And well, yeah. we we basically have a beta version and prototype right now. Okay. Uh, and we're launching the actual MVP in two in two weeks, two to two to three weeks. Okay. Okay, yeah. and uh, uh, so so when you have the beta, the, the the main task will be to get the uh, both freemium and some uh, paid users uh, in order to raise some more capital. Yeah, definitely. We run with a paid pilot, so all the companies that we've uh, so onboarded so far, they are paying for this three month period where we run a basically a use case for them. Okay, we gather their metrics in the beginning and then. Throughout the end of the time, we see have we actually, you know, converted more, uh, you know, opportunities. Uh, we hope, and you know, from our preliminary tests, it has been the case. Um, so then we go on to a paid monthly subscription, paid annual subscription, uh, where we have a longer term relationship with the companies. Okay, and uh, uh, what was the uh, uh, what was the um, uh, tool that you raised the uh, the money on? Is it a convertible loan? Yeah, Is it safe? on a convertible note. Oh, on a convertible note. Okay, and uh, uh, you are still because this podcast will be just around, uh, be, uh, behind the the step conference and everything, mm -hmm. and some people will be watching. So you are still open for some uh, pre seed money uh, uh, investments, yeah? Yes, yes. We've actually just come back from Saudi, speaking to a couple of larger companies looking for more of a strategic uh, partnership, but we're open to any investors that want to speak or anybody that's interested okay. in investing. Who, well. is, who, who are the founders and co-founders of the company? So I myself, uh, Luca, I'm the CEO. Yeah. My uh, COO, Mazen Al-Malki, yeah. uh, has experience in marketing, spent years also in sales as well. And then uh, we have a CTO. His name's Sharif, mm -hmm. as well, and he's spent you know five to six years in in startups as well. Oh my God! So good team, uh, good product, objective problem to solve, and uh, accessible market is trillions yeah. or something, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, I mean, the what market's the, huge. Uh, uh, more the, about our team. I mean, 
we have two fantastic developers. Yeah. One of the developers, our back-end developer, he spent uh, four years at Tadger, the first oh. YC company out of the out of UAE. Um, and then we also have another fr- uh, full-stack developer, amazing guy, spent three years at IBM. Oh. So they're kind of our you know founding developing development team, and they're making a product that's amazing. Um, I can't wait to actually be able to show somebody something. Amazing. Uh, Luca, uh, so what can I say? Uh, I really wish you all the best. I really think that, that you are tackling objective problem, that, that there is a... Uh, what is the total accessible market that you, are, that you are addressing? Is it some trillions or something? Um, is it sales? It's <laughs> yeah, sale. I mean, there's a lot of asp- you know, avenues where this can go. Yeah. Um, if we're looking at maybe total, total serviceable market, yeah. it would probably be about 45 to $50 billion. Oh, my God. Yeah. So good market and, uh, and good opportunity uh, with Rita. Thank you very much uh, for being uh, the guest in our podcast. Of and uh, the, the moment uh, you get out the, the, the release of your uh, software, please let us know and uh, definitely we'll speak about, uh, speak about it more. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you.